here on the Quantum of the Seas. It's Royal Caribbean's newest cruise ship. It's, uh, they're calling it a smart ship. And as part of this smart ship, we're standing underneath what I would describe as an amazing scene of robots and software and screens. And I'm standing here with Andy Robot, Andy Flessis of, of Robotic Arts based in Las Vegas. He is the genius behind this design. Andy, could you tell us a little bit about what this is? Well, we're in a room called 270. So what's neat about this room, the coolest technology in the room itself is the 270 degree view of the ocean, which you can see here. It starts over here, and it turns all the way, the way around. You can see, so it's giving guests a view of the ocean that they've never seen on a typical cruise. And then here we have um, the robo screens, which are mounted on a gantry, which has uh, 18,000 pounds of strength to lift these six robots up into the ceiling. Right now they're in their play position. So the robots come down on the gantry and this is where they perform. So if you kind of look up here, six, we have six IRB 6620 robots with custom Leone uh, cable management systems and mounted to the robots, if you come in the back here, mounted to the robots we have Dactronics four millimeter LED screens which are custom made. Each one of those is about $200,000. 4 millimeter. it's the best LED screen available in the world today. And what we do is we're um, running these robots to create all sorts of different kinetic art with the screens. So could you tell me a little bit more about the creative aspect of it too? I mean, this is a technical background you just told us about, but what do the screens do? What the screens do is they create a um, kinetic video surface that is interacting with the performers that uh, are performing on stage here. These are dancers, acrobats, singers. So the robots become performers uh, in these shows and the goal is to have the robots integrate into the show and not a, have it be some breakaway thing. It's really an integration of the screens with a kinetic kind of motion to them um, integrated into the show so that the, we had to teach the robots how to understand and how not to invade into that space but to be in the environment properly, to look as though they came out of the space, not came into it. So I've seen the show a couple times now, last night two times, I'll do it again tonight two times. This is the inaugural sort of media cruise for, for the Quantum of the Seas. And what I found pretty spectacular was the coordinated motion between the performers, the robots, the monitors, and the video on the monitors, which just seems like magic to me. But like you said, it in the end, it just is, it looks like a natural performance. So there you have it. If you're looking for one of the most technologically advanced stages anywhere in the world, whether on land or on sea, the ABB robots here and the robo screens on the Quantum of the Seas by Royal Caribbean, it's where it's at.